Hello and welcome to SoGoodReviews.com and SleazyKVideo.com. We are taking a look at Fearless Fighters. Quick, efficient, to the point, Fearless Fighters is one of the very best Wuxia pieces of its kind, providing terrific energy and creative weaponry. It was made as a real man in 1971 and then picked up in 1973 by Richard Elman's independent distribution company. Dubbed and re-edited, Fearless Fighters went on to become a noticeable success in the relatively early days of exposure of this genre to American audiences. The movie clearly isn't reinventing the genre, but is possessing motivation to offer up fantastical spectacle on a budget, with a structural way of thinking that turns out to be a key thing, i.e. get better as the movie rolls along. Mostly director Wu Min Shung stages fairly snappy, fast and grounded swordplay with select acrobatic feats done in editing. Most performances are bringing an intensity that convinces us that slashes are powerful and violent. Plus, by adding colorful costumes, masked fighters, and such characteristics in the early going, the movie is starting to craft a visual identity that's going to come to fruition by the time the second half gear is initiated. It also provides a slightly gritty view of the martial world, as village settings look rather run down, but it truly gets going when introducing the characters and weapons with wonderful titles such as the One Man Army, Deadly Twin Swords, Flying Discs, Solar Rays, etc. But despite crude depiction of this uh, that is done through cutting, reverse photography and the likes, this gets uh, an audience pumped to see how this uh, will practically play out in the field. Seeing these fights now elevated to the degree where the heroes need to take on outside clan members, i.e. the hired killers, and out of this world weaponry, that's massively fun, and director Wu showcases a rarely seen fun, even frantic tone in early 70s Taiwanese Wu Xiaopian. It's not just verbal, it's essentially all depicted right there, and by not cheating us of that, he gains the most admiration and impact. This then traveled to an international audience. Uh, you're alive? Huh? Let's go. 